How's it going? How was everybody's holiday? Good? Alright, let's get into some defo. The Eldnarf Lost Chapter, which I did get his LD on, um, it was about 120 tickets, something like that. So that's cool. And, yeah, I wasn't planning on bringing him to the blind run. Um, I'll probably do another run with him, though, with a completely different setup, completely different strategy. I wanted to do this first because, one, you know me. I love my launches. I love my keep away. Good stuff. And second, I know a lot of people are skipping Eldnarsh. Because Eldnarsh does make this fight a walk in the park, but so does this team. So you really don't have to pull for him to make this fight relatively simple. Um, yeah, like I said, the name of the game is really just playing keep away. Because that big old bug right in the middle there can do some pretty nasty stuff if you give him, up, if you give him an opportunity, so don't. The plan here is to just get all set up with our calls, our debuffs, all that stuff, and then Lightning's gonna go bye-bye, and Ramza is gonna act as the perfect counterpart that he always does for Cloud and Kais. Dark Knight Cecil would 100% be here if these things didn't absorb the Dark Element, but alas, they do. He probably could have worked anyway. I'm sure there's runs out there of other people using him just to get the HP damage debuff on or whatever, but I didn't really want to mess around with any of that. So we're just going to go with Tried and True Lightning to play Keep Away, because I haven't used Lightning in a long time. It, it's been a minute since I've actually brought her to anything. I mean, the Thunder Absorb, you know, kind of... I don't want to say it screwed her over, because it didn't. I mean, there's... In, in fact, a good chunk of the runs for Divine Ramu had lightning in them. Like, it wasn't even rare. Like, a lot of people brought lightning to that. Because Paladin Sheshel... Did I say Paladin Sheshel? Oh my god. I should just start this over, but I'm not going to. Paladin Cecil. Yikes. <laughs> he, uh, yeah, he could just enchant lightning and he should be fine. I know there's, I think there's a system to it, as far as which skills to use when. I haven't messed around with any of that stuff, though, so I'm really not the right person to ask. If you want, um, advice on using lightning and thunder absorb, just go talk to Theologica. I think he's done it more than anybody else. In fact, and this isn't to, to pick on you, dude, it's just an observation, Theo. I, whenever we get a thunder absorb event, I already know you're bringing lightning. Like, it's just, it, it, like clockwork, I know you're gonna bring her. Okay, so... We have all of our buffs now. Yeah, Kais call on... Kais call... I cannot speak! Onion that call on Kais is one of my favorite things. Swap things around, recover the hero support right away. Alright, we're all good. So now the goal is to kill the little ones while we're in here. So that way we can just bully this big bug into oblivion and not have to worry about any of his bullshit. Um, don't bring, a uh, target lock to this, because, you know how Square likes to, um, introduce a new character, and then not long after that, give us a fight that completely cucks that new character? They kind of did that to Celeste here, because I know a lot of people were excited to use her, but, yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm reminded of the... TCC challenge for this event when it first debuted, the extreme challenge was, there was probably more conditions to it than I can remember, but the big one for the extreme challenge was inflict target lock on this thing and then don't die, because he just tries, this thing does not like to be taunted. So go, going back to the Celeste encounter thing, I mean it's more than most characters, damn Cloud! Cloud is at you, my goodness. Before I continue rambling, we're, we're at a part that's crucial. There's a reason I brought the Ramu Summon. And if you're unfamiliar, pay attention. So watch after we go into Ramu. Judgment Bolt Plus. What is that? That is a frame paralysis on the bug, that's right. It's not even called paralysis, it's called Judgment Bolt, but it's, it's just paralysis under a different name, and it's framed. That's what that is. This thing is otherwise immune to paralysis. 
but he's not immune to he's not immune to judgment bolt. So if you stun this thing, he will not revive his buddies. And I didn't want that to happen because it doesn't matter if he gets a turn or not. At a certain threshold, I think it's half. I could be wrong about that. He will just bring his friends back, and I didn't want to deal with that. Yeah, I might do a run of. I'm kind of thinking I want to try Onion Knights, Aerith, and Eldnarsh. I think that would be awesome. I think that'd be a really good setup for this. So I want to give it a go. Because Eldnarch is one of those characters that I really wanted at the time. I got his EX on, I think it was like a free poll back in the day. But Ingots were, like, <laughs> they were super rare back then. And Garnet debuted with the EX Plus at the same time he did. You know I'm going to go for Garnet over him. That's not to say that Garnet was better than him because they served completely different roles. But it's Garnet. I, don't, I shouldn't have to say anything else. And Garnet in the future, I mean, even future Garnet's a good investment. She's, she's one of the best characters. She's awesome. So now, okay, 16 turns. Ramza, don't go. No, don't. Well, you have to go because we need to push this guy back even more. We still got three LDs. Let's do this. So now this fight is in the bag and it's just a matter of time of wearing him down. Because he can't do anything. After this is, I think it's Wednesday night, I want to say. Depending on where you're from. For me, it's Wednesday night. Here in the States. The Midwest. It'll be Sunday night around 9... No, not Sunday. Wednesday. So today's Sunday. Wednesday, um, yeah, Wednesday night around 9 p.m. for me is the Aranea event. Just like they did with Beatrix. They are giving giving us the global exclusive in the form of a later event as opposed to a lost chapter. Because it feels like it should be a lost chapter because we got her already, but JP didn't. So now we're just dovetailing back into the JP cycle of things, which... Which works out. There's, there's a balance there, so it's fine. I don't know how hard I'm going to pull for, to be honest. Because I didn't use her that much. Really. Not to say she was bad. She obviously wasn't. Um, do I really want to go on an RNA tangent? Not not really. I do have a lot of opinions about her. No, I'm not an RNA hater. It's a little more complicated than that. But... I do think that... Uh, I think that she, given her release, I'll, I'll just say this, I think that with her release on Global and everything that she could do, I think that she ended up being more bad than good for for the player base. I, I really do. And um, I, that's not me saying I hated her. I think, here's what I think. I think that they made her way too broken for the time. And it kind of allowed players to... I hate to say this, but almost pressed an auto win button for a long time. And that's not to dismiss anyone's clear. I'm not trying to sit here and flex like I did it without our. I'm not trying to be like that. I'm just saying the Chaos Era was supposed to be difficult. It was supposed to be something that tested our might and our, you know, <laughs> our battle strats and just our knowledge of this game in general, our, our ability to build good teams and everything. And RNA have kind of took the wind out of those sails, I think. Not not completely, but by a very large margin, I'd say. They're, like, think, think if you're a person who used her a lot, think back to a lot of those fights and tell me how much worse you think it would have been if she wasn't there. It would have, it probably would have been a lot worse, right? I, I can tell you right now it was, it definitely was. If you didn't know how to team build, but if you did, it wasn't so bad. That's not to say everyone who used Aranea is like a noob and can't team. I'm not trying to say that. I'm just saying that I think that there are people who could have benefited from experimenting more with different comps as opposed to running just her. But 
business is me. See, I'm such a hypocrite. I'm saying that, and here I am doing another launch comp. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, is what it is, I guess. But I think I've proven myself. I can, I can do more than just launch comps, okay? I just think they're fun. And like I said, yeah, with this stage, I'm, I'm gonna come back here. Maybe tomorrow. I don't know. And, uh, since I pulled the Eldenar Shelby, I'll, I'll, I'll use it for it. Use him for it. But I'm not gonna lie, I, I pulled Eldenar not even to use right away. I pulled him simply for zero turn shenanigans when Terra gets here. I think uh, Noctis, Terra, and Eldnarch are going to be able to do some ridiculous things on a team together. Especially during the time when launches are basically banned. We're going to have some fun. We're going to mix it up, we're going to have some fun. It'll be cool. Okay, you gotta just die. This thing is pretty damn tanky. Okay, this should be it. Oh, no, yeah, no, Kais isn't gonna kill. Lightning will, though. Yeah, good thing, because our damage is starting to drop. Losing burst effects and everything, losing buffs. Just get out of here. Alright, cool. Still gotta do the challenge quest. I realized I never even uploaded my Ramu challenge quest. Would you guys even be interested in watching that, to be honest? I mean, if if not, let me know, otherwise I won't waste my time. But if you wanna watch it, I'll I'll rerun it with Aerith, because that would be fun to do. But we'll, we'll see. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.